Today I'm going to show you how to make these six wireframe designs in Illustrator. All right, first let's set our stroke to two points. Then I'm going to get rid of the fill. Then I'm going to go to Polar Grid, which can be found in your line segment tool. If not, go ahead and hit the three little dots and you can pull it up in here. Holding the shift key, I'm going to drag out my design. And you can always double click on your Polar Grid tool to change the amount of dividers. Now I'm going to go up to Object. Then I'm going to go down to Envelope Distort. I just want to show you the warp really quick. You can go to Make with Warp. And this can do some cool stuff. But that's not what we want to do. So going back up to Object, Envelope Distort make with mesh. I'm gonna have two rows and two columns, it's just easier for now. Then I'm gonna use our mesh tool to distort this by hitting U, or you can find it in your toolbar. Then I'm just gonna drag this, drag it around, drag it wherever you want. Then I wanna add a border. So what I'm gonna do is go to my rectangle tool, hitting M on the keyboard. I'm just gonna drag a rectangle within my image, like that. Then I'm gonna to go to my direct selection tool, hitting A on the keyboard. Then I'm gonna make sure I have both objects selected. Then I'm gonna to go to object, clipping mask. And I'm gonna to go to make. Then I wanna add the border. I'm gonna go over here to my stroke. Then I'm gonna write in two, hit enter. And now we have border. Then I'm going to select, go to object and group it. And now we have this cool design that we can use. All right, let's make our perspective wire mesh. So I'm gonna go up to our line tool and I'm going to turn off the fill, turn on the stroke, go to two points. I'm gonna go back to the line tool, go to rectangular grid tool, double click that. Then we're going to go 10 dividers by 10 dividers. Holding the shift key, I'm gonna drag out our design. Now we're gonna go to free transform tool by hitting E. Then I'm gonna select this perspective distort. Then we're gonna pull it back like that. Then we're gonna go to free transform, drag that down. Then we're gonna go up to object, envelope distort, make with mesh. I'm gonna select two rows by two columns, hit okay. Then we're gonna hit U on the keyboard to bring up that mesh tool. We're just gonna drag the anchor down like that. Then I'm just gonna drag this off our artboard and save it for later. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing, except this time we're going to do 18 dividers. Hit okay, holding the shift key like so. Make sure that we have our stroke on, two points. Then I'm hitting E. Then I'm gonna to go to perspective distort, do the same exact thing as before. Object, envelope distort, make with mesh. Do four by four, hit okay. Hit U on the keyboard. And I'm gonna drag this up. Now on to the next design. We're gonna to go to our ellipse tool. Holding down the shift key, I'm going to create a circle. And just for visibility, I'm gonna turn on the fill. Then I'm going to go to effect, 3D and material, 3D classic. Make sure you're on classic, revolve. Now revolve, I'm gonna change the surface to wireframe. And then we can actually adjust the rotation. Then I'm gonna hit okay. Now I'm gonna go up to object, expand appearance. Then we're gonna switch our stroke to two. Hit enter. Now I'm just gonna drag this off to the side. Now let's try and make another cool shape. So I'm gonna go to our lips, holding down shift, add a fill. Then I'm gonna cut this circle in half by hitting the anchor, then hitting delete. Then I'm gonna go up to effect, 3D and materials, 3D classic, revolve, go to wireframe, adjust the offset, something like that. Hit okay, go up to object, expand appearance, go to two strokes again, hit enter. We got a cool shape. Let's make one final sphere. So I'm gonna go to ellipse tool, hold down the shift key, then I'm gonna hit this anchor, then I'm gonna cut the circle in half, go to effect, 3D classic. Then on our offset, we're just gonna go to right edge, surface, wireframe, and then you can adjust the rotation, hit okay, object, expand appearance, go over to two strokes, and then like that, we've just created one, two, three, four, five, six awesome shapes that we can use in some kind of brutalism poster.